Hey, it's me, Markel's World, All Things Professional Wrestling, and my life. If you are Jacob Fuck 2, you are regretting what you did to this organization because they are after you like white on motherfucking rice. They have been after this man since last year. And remember when these rumors came out last year, I didn't think anything was going to come out of this, but um, they are still after him. What am I talking about? I am talking about Jacob for two. Yes, baby. They are saying that he ghosted and did not pay. Well, my bad. He supposedly did a no show, got paid. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. That is all over the wrestling news blog sites. That is all over X. And when I saw Jacob for two trending, and then I saw this organization donation shit. I said, oh, gosh, he did it again? I mean, oh, my goodness. There was another organization where he did a no-show and took their money. Allegedly. Yeah, let me say that. Allegedly. Let me make sure I do say that. Um, allegedly. Those are the accusations that they are throwing. But, yeah, when, what I was saying is when I saw this training, I said, he did this again, allegedly. But, um. No, they're talking about still about last year. Let's talk about it. Maybe some people saw some old tweets. Maybe the organization speaking up still. But Sports Illustrated, you know if it went to Sports Illustrated, baby, you are in hiding right now. If you are Jacob, you're like, oh, my gosh, not even Sports Illustrated. Uh, they said, story about WWE star Jacob for two ghost in the nonprofit is being resolved. Oh, mm is being resolved now and that was just two hours ago let me tell you this was going on back in 2023 but yesterday and today there was a lot going on where he was trending for um not paying these people back or for not doing a no show allegedly and these people are like fuck it you need to give us our fucking money you've done us dirty please and it, it is trending uh, you know all over x but now as you see um it is being resolved. So I guess Jacob Fatou said, you know what? This is my big break. Y'all ain't going to ruin this shit over some $2,500. Like, where, where can I send this money? So let's read this. Let's read this. The takedown on SI has an exclusive statement from Jake's Neckward of Hope. Um, an earlier version of the article state, stated that Jacob Fatou had not paid nor been in contact with Jay's Networks of Hope. J-N-O-H provide an update statement on the issue, which you can read below. In 2023, Jake Alpha 2 received payment, received payment from Jake's Network of Hope, a nonprofit organization to appear at a pro wrestling fundraiser. Fatu was paid $2,633. His parents playing tickets oh wow they were even paying the paying tickets before he was in the, even in wwe oh baby they must have been a huge mlw fan or they must have been a huge bloodline fan and know that he comes from that um prestige family but let's keep talking i'm just surprised they're doing all this for him the bloodline for um plane tickets and hotel accommodations no the hotels and plane tickets the bloodline enforcer canceled his appearance before the event Citing a family emergency, that's understandable. I mean, if he had a family emergency, that's understandable. Jake Neckers of Hope said they were understanding, but asked that fuck to pay back the money. That didn't happen. A Reddit user associated with JNOH described the incident in a 2023 post. I must okay, let's read this real fast. You guys like gossip. I'm associated with a nonprofit in northeastern Wisconsin, Jake Neck with the Hope. A few months ago, again, our charity, along with a local wrestling organization, put on a wrestling show. One of the wrestlers hired was Jacob Fatu. Unfortunately, on the day of the event, he no show. Jake was told by Mr. Fatu that it was a family emergency. Okay, understandable. However, it was later discovered that was a lie. Mm, they called him a liar, too. And after further investigation, not them investigating him, it was found out that he had also done this to multiple organizations. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, m remember, I was just saying, oh, I, already kn I only knew about this one time. But I guess allegedly, allegedly, he's been doing this to other organizations. 
not my um anything for you solo not him doing this this is not a good look boo this is not a good look oh i hate that um not the other charities as far as we know mr front two has since failed to pay back the charity what he took for the event i don't post a lot of reddit but i'm doing so because i'm a massive fan of wrestling and because i think this type of behavior is abhorrent i love a good heel but stealing from a small charity that ain't it yeah that ain't it and that's a bad look last june nbc 26 aired j n o h story during a broadcast and posted the video on youtube okay where's the update Okay, okay, so now let's get back to the nitty gritty because they just talk so much and give so much history to the point it's like we don't want to talk about all that. The takedown, okay, the takedown has reached out to Jake Neckwards of Hope to ask for an update of the situation. Director of Development Jen Harper responded with an official statement. Jacob Fatu and our organization are, addre are addressing this matter privately beginning with a phone call and heartfelt apology back in May. While the full amount oh hasn't yet been repaid, we appreciate Jacob's acknowledgement. It can be tough to face up to your wrongdoings, and we commend him for taking steps toward confronting his. Okay, that was a nice official statement. That was classy. That was classy. We have the figure four online. Charity accusing Jacob Jewel of not returning payments says they are addressing the issue privately. Again, this was just 45 minutes ago. Uh, so, I guess it was making waves recently. Again, I don't know why it would make ra waves again. Again, this happened last year. I do recall reading this last year. Um, but I didn't think anything of it. Again, I, you know, this already happened. He already got signed. Um, I thought if it would kind of dim or ruin his chances of being pushed i thought it would have happened last year when he was hot and new um and still was about to get that contract i thought okay maybe if this charity shit comes out and it's already being aired on the news this is last year he's not really officially signed maybe wwe would like your bad you know baggage they weren't gonna hire him but they decided to do it anyways yes it's been here and there people have mentioned it before uh, I do not know if the charity has kept talking about it, but I, I do know it was on X a couple times here and there. Um, today, yesterday, that is the main conversation. So I don't know what happened overnight. I don't know if they are still tweeting about it. I don't know if someone read about this recently and they're just now catching on about Jacob for two. And now all the blogs are catching on because someone caught up about it i'm not sure someone from the blogs first saw this for the first time today and they posted it now all the other blogs are but i don't know why it's attracting so much wind today um this is ot boo this is ot i already knew this last year so i don't even know why this is trending but again um it's good that they are addressing it um uh, everywhere you go it this is all they talk about jake's network wrestling headlines 411 mania e-wrestling no dq Wrestling headlines, sports kita. So again, this happened again last year. And again, I already vaguely talked about it on my channel, but something occurred that it's everywhere um, today in 2024, November 4th. So um, not sure, wishing him the best. Um, if true, shame on him. If true, shame on him. I can be a real one and say that. Shame on you if that's what you're doing. You scamming people now. Shame on you. But um, I don't know if it's true. So I can't accuse him of doing something I don't know nothing of. I'm just reporting. We love the gossip here. But um, TikTok, I know you guys have to go. 10 minute limit. Life update, TikTok. I'm fine. Um, I'm voting tomorrow. Make sure you vote. And I'm off tomorrow. So I thank you guys on TikTok. I post pro wrestling news three times a week at least. And about my life. So you better follow on TikTok. Thank you guys. Peace. YouTube. What do you guys think about this to make the video a little bit longer? I like it longer than 10 minutes.
What do you think about this? Are you guys thinking that he's a thief now? Are you guys over him? Will this affect his WWE push? Do you think this will affect it? Do you think this negative branding, this negative light will affect his push? Do you think that WWE be like, uh uh, we don't want to be associated with that? And I can't, I'm so used to saying WWE. You know, I do apologize. It is now TKO Endeavor, TKO. Do you think TKO wouldn't want to be involved in this? I'm so used to WWE, 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 WWE. To the point I forgot it is no longer officially WWE. It's now Endeavor TKO. So how are they going to respond to this? Do they want that bad baggage? Jacob Fatu is a main star. He is a main player in that bloodline storyline. You have to be real. You have to be honest. Don't lie now. Do not lie. You do know he is very important in that storyline. So will this affect it? Again, I don't know why the fuck is trending. I'm like, really? Is it a slow news day today that we have to talk about this old shit already? And I do want to put a disclaimer. I am not mad at the charity. I'm not saying the charity has every right not to talk about it. I am not picking any sides. I do wish they would have filed a, um, a lawsuit if this really happened to them. I thought I read before that someone from the family paid them already quietly to keep the story, you know, kind of shut down. But I guess that didn't happen if they're still talking about it to this day. So um, I just wish they would have filed a lawsuit. But I am glad, you know, if you've been wrong, you always should speak up. You should always make your voice be heard. You shouldn't let go until you get it resolved. So if that is what they're doing, they're pushing, they're fighting, and them speaking about it, and this is going to get Jacob to actually own it, the publicity, you know, this is not good. Okay, Jacob's like, okay, now, this is a little too much now. And this is all over now. Now my coworkers are looking at me a little crazy now. Now... You kind of expose them to the point a lot of people are already are, are aware of what happened. So now everyone knows what happens. So now you you got his attention. So now that they got his attention now, it seems like they're talking. And that is unfortunate. Um, if he would have been allegedly, if this allegedly did happen again, if he would have just owned it, paid them, none of this would have been happening. He could have just moved on with his life. But since allegedly he ghosted them and then just stopped talking to them and took their money and wasn't responding to them. And it got to the point, the only way we're going to get you to pay us back is if we keep outing you and we keep speaking about it to the point the media is talking about, to the point you have to respond to us because now you are a public figure and this needs to be addressed. That's what they had to do. I guess that's what they had to do. So this is a messy situation. We do like us up here. At Markel's World and Wrestling News. Yes, we do. But this is very messy. I don't think we had a situation this messy. I almost feel like I'm talking about celebrity news at this point. You know, that is just a lot of drama. But um, we shall see what happens. Um, allegedly, he did delete his Twitter, his ex. Um, we can look it real fast for jokes and giggles. Let's see. Okay, I don't see his Twitter. Okay. Delete. Let me look. Delete. Let me do delete real fast. Uh, it's not. Okay. I can't find his Twitter right now. Oh, I'm looking under people. Uh, let me look for, yeah, they're saying allegedly he um, deleted his Twitter as well. So let me go on Google real fast and look him up. Jacob for two Twitter. Let's see. Hey, I just hate this new like technology. Like, it's like, it was trying to open up a Twitter before I even clicked on it. But, um, no, he doesn't have one. It's deleted right now. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, it's on here. WWE D Dublin. 
He's still on here. He's still on here. Good for him. I was going to say, some people are saying he deleted his Twitter, but you always got to check your sources. It's open right now. Jacob for two um, underscore WWE. 22, 23 hours ago, he did that um, fire thing. Um, the fire emoji. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Yo, bro, did you scam any charity lately? You forgot to write, I love my tribal chief. Uh, pay the charity. How about you pay the money back to the charity? Okay. Pay the charities back. Pay the charity. Okay, so I'm ready for your singles run. So glad I got to see the goal. You gonna pay them folks back? So a lot of people are already talking about it on his ex. Um, so this ain't a good look, boo. This ain't a good look. But um, that is today. I made this video a little bit longer. I am off tomorrow. So I said, let me get on here and get a little comfortable. But um, this is Mark Hill's World, All Things Professional Wrestling, My Life YouTube, Life Update, Vote Off Tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you guys think? Make sure you follow me on TikTok and subscribe on YouTube, Mark Hill's World, and follow Pro Wrestling Tea, where we gossip wrestling together. I'll see you guys. That's on Facebook. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.